हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल निधि भसीन मैथमेटिक्स क्लासेस माय टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज प्राइम नंबर्स कॉम्पोजिट नंबर्स प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड प्राइम नंबर्स अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन वन इज अ प्राइम नंबर इफ इट हैज ओनली टू फैक्टर्स लाइक टू थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन दे आर ग्रेटर देन वन and they have only two factors why because two can be written as 2 is equal to 1 into 2 only we cannot write two as any other multiplication of two numbers three can only be written as 3 into 1 is equal to 3 there is no other way like we can write three as so the factors of 2 and 3 will be factors of 2 will be 1 and 2 factors of 3 will be 1 and 3 so that's why these numbers which have only only two factors are known as prime numbers now they have one part with them like prime minister that means out of all the minister he has some special power so these are prime numbers they have some special power in numbers and what is that power any composite number can be written as a factor of multiplication of prime numbers these are the prime numbers will become their factors any composite number we can write as a product of prime numbers so the, this is the special power of prime number you can take any any composite number we can write it in the uh, uh, we can write it as a multiplication of prime numbers product of prime numbers now there are some addition information which which you should know about prime numbers and that is one is ni neither prime nor composite we cannot call one as a prime number because it doesn't have two factors and we cannot call it as composite number because it doesn't have more than two factors so that's why one is neither prime nor composite Two is the smallest prime number. Out for one, we cannot say neither prime nor composite. The next number which which we take as a prime number is two. So this this is the smallest prime number, and two is only even prime number because this number is divisible by two. So this is even number also. So this is even number and prime number. Rest of the numbers. Are not divisible by two, so they are not even numbers. Only two is an even number, so it is only even prime number, and it is the smallest prime number. Now, prime numbers, I am telling you once again, they have only two factors. One is one, and the second is number itself. And any composite number we can write as a product of prime numbers. So that's why they have some special power with them. i can one is neither a prime nor composite and two is the smallest even prime number now how to find prime numbers we can find prime numbers by checking through the division if we are getting more than two factors in which factors means remainder as zero If there are more than two numbers in which we are getting remainder as zero, that means it is not a prime number. And if we are getting only two factors in which remainder is zero, that means we have a prime number. Now let me take number five. Here I am taking division. Here I am taking question. Here I am taking remainder. I am first dividing five with one. When I will divide five with one, question will be five, remainder will be zero. If I am dividing five with two, like I am taking five inside one here, five ones are five, so I am getting remainder as zero. So if I am taking five by two, two twos are four, I am getting one as a remainder. So this way I have checked for three, four, and five. so in which cases i have got remainder as zero in this case and in this case now in both the cases you can see we are having factors as only one and the number itself these are the numbers now which are dividing 5 and giving me remainder zero so that means there are only two factors of 
so factors of 5 are 1 and 5 what, what we actually mean by factors factor means which are dividing the number exactly dividing the number exactly means leaving remainder 0 so the, these are the only two cases one is this case and one is this case so these two cases are giving me remainder 0 so that's why there are only two factors of 5 and we have read about it that factors of a number are always less than a number itself so we will go up to 5 only so factors of 5 are 1 and 5 which are 2 in number so such numbers are called prime numbers which have only two factors and the other examples of prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and this way we can check and find many prime numbers and i told you they have a path what is that path that any composite number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers but we can't say we can't say that about composite numbers but any composite number can be expressed as a product of primes now i'm taking number 8 and i'm finding its factors and i'm checking whether it's it is a prime number or not to find the factors i am dividing all the numbers till 8 here is my number here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i am dividing all the numbers till 8 because it is the number itself now when I divided 1 with 8, question, did eight, question is 8 and remainder is 0. That means it is a factor. When I divided with, with 2, I got remainder uh, as 0 and question as 4. That means it is a factor. With 3, I am getting question 2, remainder 2. That means it is not a factor. With 4, I am getting question 2, remainder 0. That means it is a factor. Next to in the next three cases, I am getting remainder. That means it is not a factor. Last one, when I divided 8 with 8 and I got remainder 1. So, you can see how many factors are there. 1, 2, 3, 4 factors are there. So, there are more than 2 factors. So, it is not a prime number. So, factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8 and it is not a prime number. So, what type of number it is? It is a composite number. So, let me let me take composite number now. Now, I am taking composite numbers. As I have told you in the last that in the, I have shown that division, question and remainder in that we were getting to know that 8 has 4 factors. Now, let me check by taking multiplication method. 1 into 8 is 8. 1, 2 into 4 is 8, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 1 is 8. So you can see that only this is not existing, these are also existing. So it is not a prime number. So all factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. So what does it mean? Why it is not a prime number? Because it has more than 2 factors number 1 and 8 except that it has 2 and 4 as a factor so a number is a composite number it becomes a composite number if it has more than two factors so how to find that it has it is whether a prime or it is composite if you will check that uh, you have two methods to check the factors either multiplication or either division so, if you are finding that a number has more than two factors, you don't have to find all the factors, but you can find that if it has more than two factors, then it is a composite number, otherwise it is a prime number. So, the basic difference between a prime number and composite number is this only, that prime numbers have only two factors, but a number composite, a composite number has more than two factors. Now, all the even numbers, because they are divisible by 2, they are all composite numbers. We have many composite numbers, just as it is a one example, that all even numbers, because you know that they are divisible by 2. Okay, so whatever multiples of 3 are there, they will be divided by 3. Whatever multiples of 4 are there, they will be divided by 4. 
सो दो मल्टीपल्स विल नॉट बी अ प्राइम नंबर ओनली प्राइम नंबर हैव टू फैक्टर्स सो दिस यू हैव टू चेक द नंबर लाइक टू थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन दीज आर ऑल प्राइम नंबर एंड नंबर लाइक फोर सिक्स एट एंड ट्वेल्व आर ऑल कॉम्पोजिट नंबर now i'm taking prime factorization for this i'm taking 8 is equal to 2 into 4 which can be rewritten as 2 into 2 into 2 why i have written like this because 4 is a composite number so i have split further it into a prime number product of two primes so these are all 2 2 2 these are all prime numbers and this type of factorization is known as prime factorized form a factorization is prime if all the factors are prime this is not a prime factorization why because one of the factor here is composite and here all the numbers are prime numbers so this type of factorization where all numbers where all factors are prime is known as prime factorization factors of a number which are prime are called prime factors factors these are the factors of a number and they are prime so these are known as prime factors now factors of 24 i am taking are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 these are all are the factors of 24 so is it are all the factors prime numbers no So, what are the prime factors of twenty-four? Prime factors of twenty-four are two and three. So, I have rewritten the factorization of twenty-four in these two numbers: two into two into two into three. So, this is known as prime factorization. When all the factors are prime numbers, this type of factorization is known as prime factorization any of the number is not composite if it was there as a composite number we will try to split it in the form of prime numbers so so that we get the prime factorization now i'm taking prime factorization now how to do prime factorization to find prime factors of the number we keep dividing in each step with lowest possible prime number till we get 1 what does this all mean in division we do division like this we keep the number inside divisor outside question will be here now when we do prime factorization whatever number we have to write we will write here now question comes here above here question comes below and whatever is the divisor that we are keeping outside so this is continuous div division we are doing and side by side i am showing you how i am doing it now since it is a prime factorization that means we have to take prime factors here so what are the low, uh, smallest prime factor we have 2 and then we have 3 then we have 5 so let me check first that is 100 divisible by 2 am i getting for divisibility am i getting remainder as zero yes so i am writing two divisor here question whatever has come here above that will come down here because this is continuous division we will keep writing the question and divisor here so this has this has this is my question 50 now again i will try with prime numbers is to is it divisible by 2 yes so i will check how it is divisible by 2 so i have got 25 as a question so 25 will come here and 2 will remain here remainder has to be zero whenever the number is exactly divisible now 25 is it exactly divisible by 2 no is it exactly divisible by 3 no is it exactly divisible by 5 yes so i have written 5 here first two times it was divisible by 2 so i put tick here with 3 it was not possible we are above that we didn't need that number 
and up to five we didn't need to go because it is we try to find lowest possible prime number here the lowest possible prime number will come since 25 is not divisible by 2 it is not divisible by 3 the lowest prime number with which it is divisible is 5 so i have written 5 here now when i divided 25 with 5 i got 5 question and 0 remainder so 5 question will come here and i know that 5 is divisible by 5 so here i have come 1 as a question this was my target i was I will keep on doing the division till I reach 1 here. This is what I have said. To find prime factors of the number, we keep dividing. In each step with lowest possible prime number, we are finding, we are dividing, we are finding the lowest possible prime number with which we have to divide. Till I am getting 1 as a question. Till I am getting 1 in the end. After this, after reaching here, we write all divisors, whatever divisors are here, we write them separated by multiplication sign. I have told you prime factorization means product of primes. So, for writing product of primes, we use multiplication. So, what is the prime factorization of 100? 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. So, this is the prime factorization of 100. What are the three main points which we have to keep in mind first we have to continuously divide second we are whenever we are dividing we are finding the lowest possible prime number and till what time we will keep on dividing till we get one here and after reaching up to this point we write all the divisors we write all the prime numbers as a product of prime for that number and this is known as prime factorization this whole method is known as continuous division method so we the continuous division is going on thank you for your support please like share and subscribe my channel nidhi basin mathematics classes keep sharing keep learning thank you